I'm here with Manuel Rodriguez, one of a few Australian fighters on the card for Impact FC. Um, now, Manuel, one of the first things I notice about you guys from TP Gym, I've trained with a few of you, um, you've definitely got a very strong team spirit, um, camaraderie atmosphere there. Um, maybe talk a bit about your opinions on the importance of the team and how that, how that affects your, both your preparation for your fight and training in general. Well, um, the, um, we, we take pride in that because we know there's, there's a lot of talented guys there and we all want the same thing, um, you know, to win. And um, we, all, we all look after each other. I mean, we're always concerned on how much we weigh, on how much, you know, how much we've been training, if we've rested. So that brotherhood's really there. Um, I think it's really important because it, it, you know you're getting looked after in all areas. Um, we, um, we train, we, we, look, we, we look forward to training, like, you know, I cut, count down the hours till it's time to go training, you know, and when you're there, you, you, you stay there for three, four hours and you don't want to leave, you just, you wonder if you worked on it, you know, and you can, you always, you always got the, the help of, of your mates there, so it's, it's, a, it's a big part in our preparation, you know. Yeah, no, I agree personally. Um, the team's a really underrated part of this sport. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I wanted to ask you, um, having both competed and trained with you, you've got a sort of hunger and you know an intensity about when you compete that a lot of guys probably don't have. Mm -hmm. What is it that drives you as you know a young Australian guy to, to get into this sport and to continue to go further? Well, I've always been pretty competitive. I mean, it's not about winning. I mean, everybody loves to win and no one likes to lose, but it's the... Because the whole thing is, am I good enough? You know, you kind of question yourself before the before the thing. And when you're in there, you know, I just I want to do my my best. I'd rather lose knowing that I did my best than lose knowing that I didn't fight well. You know, so uh, I like I like you know competing and and testing myself to see if, if I can really do it. You know, it's um you know sometimes you come on top, sometimes you don't. You know, and in Dewey comes, everybody wants to win, everybody loves their Dewey and that. But you know, it's all about how much you want it. Yeah. Now, this is probably, correct me if I'm wrong, this is probably the biggest show you've ever fought on. Um, do you have any, going on from here, I mean, you've fought in CFC, you've fought in a lot of Australian shows. What are your plans beyond this? Um, do you, are you looking overseas? Or are you looking at staying in Australia for the moment? Yeah. Um, man, look, it was a great opportunity for me to fight on this, um, on this show. I mean, I've had... I think six weeks since my last fight, so I kind of had a you know had a week break and then started prepping up on this, and it was um it's my, my the whole you know the whole aim is to get as big as you know to make it in the UFC and you know in other big shows and he's a good stepping stone I think Australia um is still young in the MMA scene I think a lot of people don't even know what it is but um it's great to see this show here you know I'm I'm, I'm blessed to be you know, part of it. Um, you know, the mate Shamrock and that like you know, I was a kid when I was watching them fight and to be on the same card it's it's you know, it's like a dream but you know, it's it's kinda of kept me focused as well, you know. I wanna be as professional as some of these guys here as you know, um, I mean I'm still new in the game and, you know, I just wanna I wanna do everything right, you know. I don't wanna I don't care what the reporters say, I don't care what, what people say about me, you know, I just I just want to do my 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 stuff honourable and you know and and competitively and you know just give give it a good a real good go you know. Now your opponent for uh, for this show is Shane Nix. Um, uh, you've you fought Ian Bone, who along with Shane is probably the biggest name um, of a guy, biggest name guys you fought. Um, without obviously divulging anything that's going to give away your your fight plan, do you have any any thoughts on your opponent? Um, any any ideas on what's good, how you'd like to see things happen? Well, look, Shane, I've seen Shane fight um, a couple times. He, he fought recently, and I've seen him fight. And he's a, he's a good all-round fighter. Like I've got nothing bad to say about him. He's a, he's a great fighter. I've prepared well. Um, my fight off, I, I guess, Ian Bone. I was I was I was a bit um I, w I wasn't over prepared. I was under prepared. I was really well prepared. I, I got caught with a with a good good solid knee that that put me in in La La Land. But um. I think when you when you start fighting bigger names like Ian Bone's a bigger name here in Australia, Shane Nix and Ian Bone, I think it, it really it brings out the best in you. You know, um, you know that it's not these guys know what they're doing. They you know they don't have, have hardly any weaknesses. So I think um, my prep for, for Shane is is just to do everything right, not to 
you know, slip up on mistakes that, that I probably, you know, am used to doing in the gym. So I just really have like a, like be, be focused and, and, and do all the little things right, you know, to, to kind of overwhelm, overwhelm him with, you know, with a bit of strength and some groundwork and have him with the right hand. So, um, no, I, my prep's been really good for this. My weight's been really well. Like, cutting weight has been a lot better this time around. And, um, yeah, I'm hopefully give a good fight, you know. Yeah, hopefully we'll see it too. Um, thanks heaps for your time, Manny. Um, best of luck. Uh, is there anything you wanted to say to the Australian fans or oh, that'll be for you in the video? Yeah, come out and can support the sport, you know. Um, I mean, everybody wants to see the best cars and the UFC and everything, but it's these small shows that we really need to get behind and because, um, you know, we're going to make it big in here. We're going to make it big, big in That's Australia. it. More Australians in the UFC. Thanks a lot for your time, mate. Thanks a lot.